determined. We need tax relief. Minnesotans have asked us to help them, their families and their businesses. They have been struggling through the economic recession. They need your help with a green vote tonight. I think this is a jobs bill because it saves jobs. Even if it doesn't create jobs, it can save some of these small businesses. And they are the ones providing jobs for us. We heard Senator Olson talk so eloquently about the, the Maya Village and the costs of their property taxes. And a large part of that is because of the statewide business property tax, which we are freezing for just one year, just one year now in this bill. It used to be, a, it was going to continue to be frozen longer than that, but one year now. But that, that little business is just hanging on by its fingernails. And what are they going to do? We can't, we can't keep adding to their tax burden. And so for one year we're going to say, well, I guess we're not going to add to it. We're not taking anything away, but we're not going to add to it. And so members, we're, you know, it might save little businesses like that who are just hanging on by their fingernails. And they, cre they do employ people at those little businesses. Or whether it's a sales tax exemption or any of these things that, that are going to help these businesses survive. That a $150,000 building, a building appraised at $150,000 on one of our main streets, Members, you know how much their property taxes are going to go down because of the provision in this bill? $27, members. $27. That's it. I want to help Main Streets, too. But Main Streets can be helped next year when we look at comprehensive tax reform. They're not going to be helped by a freeze in this that gives one of our little Main Street businesses with a $150,000 building $27. Because, members, the money goes to the big guys with the big buildings and the tall buildings, to the corporate bottom lines outside of this state. That's where all the money in this bill goes. It doesn't go to our main streets. $27 to some little mom-and-pop business with a hardware store with a $150,000 building. That's what they're going to get. 